Galatians 2.20 says, I have been crucified. Galatians 5.24 says, crucify your flesh. Now what does that mean? Do you want to know more about it? Then stay tuned. Hello, welcome to 21st Century Moses channel. My name is Sammy Ju. Let's go to the first section, exposition. Let's read Galatians 5.24. And those who belong to Christ to Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desire. Now, continued from Galatians, Galatians 2.20, we're also talking about crucifixion of myself, right? But it's interesting because yesterday in Galatians 2.20, it says, I have been crucified, which is passive. To, but today's verse, it says, uh, those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified, right? So this is an active. So meaning that you need to crucify your flesh with its passions and desire. So the flesh has passion and desire, but you need to crucify that. Now, who are you? You who belong to Christ Jesus, meaning that if you belong to Christ Jesus, if you're a true Christian, that means you have crucified. Again, this is an ongoing event, not just a past one-time event, but ongoing even today, you are crucifying the flesh, your flesh, with its passion and desire. So this is definitely a sign of true Christian. True Christians are the ones who belong to Christ. How do you know that you belong to Christ? If you belong to Him, you would continue to crucify your fleshly passions and desires, as we see in today's verse. Those who do not belong to Christ still love living in their own fleshly and sinful desire. It is a great sign of who truly belongs to the Lord or not. The worldly-minded person or non-born-again person would not crucify his or her desire. They may do all religious activities on Sunday in the church building, but religious activities do not prove that you belong to Christ. Your crucifixion proves it. Then, how can you crucify your fleshly desire? Do you need to travel all the way to Calvary where Jesus died? No. By walking with the Holy Spirit, you can crucify your flesh. Now, what does that mean to walk with the Holy Spirit? It is to listen to His voice through reading and meditating on the Bible and pray in His Spirit to obey His words each day. Then obey Him. That's how you can cruci crucify your fleshly desires and passions each day. By the way, what other practices do you do each day to crucify your flesh? Share your examples in the comment section below. Remember keywords here, belong, flesh. So the main idea is those who belong to Christ crucify their flesh. Read this verse three times out loud. Pause the video. Close your eyes and recite this verse word by word. Pause the video, please. Let's fill in the blanks and check it. And those who to Christ Jesus have crucified the with its passions and desires. The answers are belong, flesh, and today's verses. Galatians 5.24. All right, great job. You memorized 116 verses. Make sure to put your own emoji on 365 empowerment checklist on the description section below so you can check your progress. If you think this video is helpful, please share this video with other people like your family members and friends and coworkers. And if you have not, please click the like button, hit subscribe and click on the notification bell so YouTube will show this video to more people in the world so that more people would hear the word of God and also watch day 25 video of 70 days journey to the Bible. So uh, you can get the bigger picture of the Bible and make sure to pray at least one hour after you read 17 chapters assigned for today. All right, that's it for today and looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.